Hello everyone, Lord Cyber out here. I've had to do it a second time in the video. Right, so now we've got the Doctor, a final adventure. What will happen? Who will she regenerate into? Shooting at her? Or a previous 10th Doctor, which had been making the 14th Doctor? Or 13.5? Right, the best way my theory will work is this. And it's very simple, you can all follow it. Ah, that's better. As I was saying, you can all follow it. Yes, my ag symbol. <laughs> yes. As I was saying, you can all follow it very easily. When the doctor is put inside that machine, the master is trying to drain away her essence, all her regenerations, make her not exist. But I think what's happened is Omega has foreseen this in the other dimension, anti-matter. And I bet what he will do, knowing that the Doctor tried to help him, he will open tears in the universe to bring other Doctors in to stop the Master's plan from working. How does that work be? But if he does succeed, and then the Doctor has no choice but to open the watch. It restores her past selves, as well as give her a new regeneration cycle. So she's got unlimited regenerations again. Or maybe still has. Who knows? All I've got to say for that, if that happens, the Doctor will get it all back. Yes, and if she does, that may cause the regenerations to go completely wrong. When she does regenerate, I think what will happen is, as she is starting, the new doctor is meant to come through and then the glitch and the regeneration goes completely wrong. And she regenerates into a past incarnation. And the doctor is so confused, not knowing what's going on. That is my theory for what is going to happen tonight. That's why I came on. <laughs> You like my new attire? Yes, I think it's a lot better than it was before. So, that is my theory on what is going to happen. The Master will put the Doctor in the tube, try to steal all her regeneration essence, make her disappear. But that in turn will cause the other Doctors to appear and sort the Master, the Time, the Daleks, and the Cybermen out. And maybe, with the Doctor getting all her memories back, Gallifrey will be restored. She will bring back the Time Lords. She will know how to stop the Cybermasters from perpetually regenerating. Yes, wouldn't that be wonderful? Get rid of them. I don't need them. Because the Doctor knows me too well. I am Lord Cyberam. Formerly the Castellan of Gallifrey, the Doctor knows what she did, or he did, or they did, whoever they may be. But I will not stop. I will not break or crumble. It is the Doctor that will crumble, no matter the incarnage and the face, whoever they are. I will come for them, my revenge. I was a Time Lord. Uh, but because of my accident, thanks to the Doctor and Russell as well, my regenerations went completely wrong, nearly burnt me completely. So the people on that planet I went to, they fashioned a cybernetic suit where the regenerations could be harnessed as my magic power and I can use it to destroy. <laughs> How about that, humans? <laughs> so there you have it. That is what I will think will happen tonight with the doctor. I'm not going to put pictures there because I'm ranting and going crazy. So let's hear it. Let's give Jody a final farewell. And I hope it's a great episode. Tegan and Ace, they were my companions. From that era, I mean. <laughs> Yes, from that era of Doctor Who. Uh, nice to see them back. 
Who else? Maybe the fugitive doctor. Hmm. Maybe Omega will come back and fix it all. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> anyway, I waffled on far too long. Ah, uh, yes. The final adventure. 7.30 p.m. An hour and a half of a big story to go out with a bell. What will happen to Yaz? What will happen to Dan? And all the rest. Anyway, that is enough for me, Lord Cyberam. Counting out for now. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>